In this video I'm going to illustrate the easiest way to create a taskbar shortcut for Emacs on Windows 10. This video assumes that you've already got Emacs installed on your Windows 10 machine. If you have not yet installed Emacs, you can watch a previous video of mine for a quick and easy walkthrough of how to get it done. The first step is to open Emacs. If you followed my previous video on how to install Emacs, you would have a desktop shortcut which you can just double click and open. If you didn't, don't worry, you can just navigate to the root directory of where you extracted Emacs. From within there, open the bin directory and scroll down until you find Run Emacs and then double click and open that. Now with the Emacs session open, right click on the taskbar and click Pin to Taskbar. If we close Emacs and click the icon on the taskbar, it will open up a new Emacs process. But the problem is that it will also open up an unnecessary DOS prompt as well. You can see that here with this black box. Making it so that the prompt does not appear when the taskbar shortcut is clicked is simple. Hold Shift down and right click the taskbar shortcut. Now click on Properties, and now you need to change the target path to be from emacs.exe to run emacs.exe, and then click Apply and OK. Now you can use the taskbar shortcut like normal, and don't have to worry about the unnecessary black box appearing. That's it! You've now seen how you can very easily set up a taskbar shortcut on Windows 10 for Emacs, and also avoid the annoying black box. If you want to see more helpful tips and tricks on Emacs, be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos available on my channel.